Can you hear me right now? Can you hear me right now? I can hear you, yeah. Yay! Yay! Cool. Just waiting for people Just to waiting come for up. people to come up. How you been? I'll mute myself. How you been? I've been good. I did a little walk today. Yeah. Which was fun. Yeah. Yeah, just lots of yen. It is Let's waiting. It is waiting. My brawl is that, here. I don't know that. What? Oh, what? Yeah. yeah. I think you have to check people in in the waiting room. Okay, I think that's what I'm doing. I think that's what I'm doing. Okay. Let's see. It says Marissa Hernandez. Marissa Hernandez. We have got here. We hey, have got here. Hey, Hi. Hi. Elizabeth. Oh. Elizabeth. Oh. <laughs> okay. Friends, they're going to get very short. They're going to get very short. Hello. Hello. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to mute everybody just so you know if I can. So if you didn't know, um, hi, what's up everyone? We got Danny, hi, Lens, Allison, Steph, Val, ooh, hey Liz. Okay, so uh, we're gonna get started shortly. I won't be playing any music on the background. Um, I put a playlist up, if you didn't get to see it, it's on my Spotify. I'm playing to the tunes of my playlist called The Observer. 
Um, and my Spotify is Jacqueline Brittany. If you want to listen at the same time, we're going to get started in another minute or two. I know I put up the email kind of late and still getting used to the Zoom. Uh, but we're going to get started shortly and we're going to get started lying down. So if you're already all set up, that's cool. We're going to get it started lying down. Hey, Allison. And you can just wait for us there. Uh, we'll get the playlist started in another minute while I have other people coming in. Let's see. Got Reza. Hope everyone's having a great Monday. It's 5.36, so just like a regular class, I'm going to get started on time, I swear. Okay, so you're going to get started lying down on the ground. We'll get started. It's with the observer. You can play the first track now. It's a silent track. We'll lie down. down. I'm going to do everything with you. So you don't need any blocks or any props, but if you have any, they might be useful to you today. You can just rest them by your side. When you're ready, lie on down, shut down your eyes. Take a moment to settle in and tune out the outside world. Let go of any mindless chatter and start to notice your breath. Place one hand on your heart and one hand right below your belly button. So you can really feel the waves of air coming in and out of the body. Take a soft breath in, open mouth, let it go. Notice your prana, your light, and how it's moving through your entire body on its own. Take a big belly breath in this time. Really fill up the lungs, the rib cage, all the way up into the collarbones and sip in even more air at the top. Open mouth, let something go. Let all the stale air out of your lungs and hold at the bottom of the exhale. Inhale through your nose for three, two, one. Seal the lips at the top. Exhale for three, two, one. One more time together. Inhale through the nose for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two. One. Continue on your own, creating even breaths in. And even exhales out. So you start to create a meditative space for yourself. Something that makes you smile inside. So you can keep your mind's eye or drishti here throughout class today. Even if it wants to wander off and lose control. No matter what, you'll continue with your even breaths in. Even breaths out. Start to blink open your eyes as you arrive here on the mat. Softly taking in the sensations around you, then draw your knees into your chest. Hands come on respective knees or shins. You can massage your low back on the mat. You can take notice of where you're holding tension here in your body. And send an extra amount of love and light there. Slowly release your hands from your knees. Your feet will come down towards the ground. Keep your left foot down. Hook your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Figure four legs just for a moment. You're going to sway your hips all the way over to the left so your right foot will touch down on the ground and your right knee is shining up towards the sky. Draw your left, left hand towards your right ankle and walk that right heel as close as you can into your left hip crease. Try to draw your left foot towards your right hand. Your right hand can capture that left foot or left ankle. And shift your gaze to the right. It's 
Stay here for a nice big inhale. And open mouth, exhale. If you have your hands on your feet or your ankles, try to keep them there as you bring your hips back through center. You're gonna draw your feet out to the left and right. So hands could come on top of your ankles, your shins. Squeeze the inner thighs together and pull the knees actively in towards your chest. You can point and flex your toes a few times, maybe getting some movement to those ankles. With each breath, drawing the knees further in towards your chest, really breathing into the outside line of that right thigh. Stay for a nice big inhale. And open mouth, exhale. Slowly release your hands from your feet and unravel your legs. Right foot comes down towards the ground. Figure your four legs with the left ankle over the right thigh. Take a moment here to set yourself up and then draw your hips to the right. Left foot will touch down on the ground. Draw your right hand to your left ankle, your left calf. And try to walk that left heel as close as you can to your right hip crease. Try to walk your left hand towards your right foot and your right foot towards your left butt cheek. Shift your gaze to the left. Stay for a nice inhale. And open mouth, exhale. So only have your hips come back through center if your hands are on your feet or your shins, cool. Keep them there. Keep on walking your feet out in opposite directions like they hate each other. Squeezing in your thighs, your left knee is stacked over your right, and then draw the knees further into your chest with each breath. Keep on spreading your low back on the mat. Stay here for a nice big inhale. And open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Slowly unravel your legs, your knees come into your chest. Lift your head, your neck, your shoulders off the floor. Interlace your fingertips behind your skull, elbows out wide. Keep on pressing your belly button towards your spine. Kick the left heel forward, draw your left elbow to your right knee. Pause here for an inhale. And exhale, switch it out, right elbow to the left knee. Kick that right heel forward. The right heel's hovering right off the ground of the mat. Switch left elbow to the right knee and keep on moving with your own breath. For 10, nine, bicycles, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, keep the connection with your left elbow to your right knee. Keep on straightening that left leg out in front of you, hovering it right at the top of the mat. Bring your hands to love guns. Shoot your love guns all the way over to the upper right-hand corner of the room. Straighten the right heel up to the sky. So you've got L-shaped legs. Keep on engaging your heart. Your heart is lifted. Switch your feet. Draw your love guns to the left, to the left of the left thigh. Switch the right heel up to the sky. Move your love gun to the right. Kick switch your feet, love gun to the left. Keep on doing this on your own, kicking your feet back and forth, moving side to side for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let your head come down to the ground, hands come underneath your thighs, rock up and down the mat, up and down the spine. Gain so much momentum. You can come up to a tabletop, stacking the shoulders over the wrists and the hips over the knees. And then give yourself a few moments to do what you need in your body. I recommend a wrist stretch, so maybe you have your fingertips spaced towards your knees. You can shut down your eyes. Maybe get some cat cows in the spine. Could roll out your neck for a few breaths. Do what feel really good in your body. Find creativity. Okay. Awesome. So you make your way back to neutral tabletop. Middle fingers face forward. Reach the right hand forward. Kick the left heel back. Left toes face down on the mat. Gaze forward and down to your nose, inhale. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. 
Inhale, create length, pause here. This time, bend your right elbow out to the right and draw your left knee out to the left. Big fire hydrant with that left leg. Inhale, reach forward, kick back. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. Let's do a few more like that. Inhale, reach forward, kick back. Exhale, right elbow out to the right, left knee out to the left. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, right elbow, left knee. One more time, inhale, create length. Exhale, right elbow out to the right, left knee out to the left. Inhale, kick forward, kick back. <laughs> nice, and then you're gonna draw the left knee into your chest. You can use your right hand to guide the left leg off the right side of the mat. So you're straightening the left leg, drawing the left pinky toe down towards the ground. Can everyone see me? <laughs> so you're kicking the left foot off to the right. Think of like you're about to do fall and triangle or cross body push up. It's a really weird motion with your left leg. Okay, one more big inhale. Exhale, kick the left foot all the way back. Tuck the left toes at the back of the mat and then pivot your right toes to the right. Supported side plank, pivot the left heel down towards the ground and send the left hand up towards the sky. Gaze up towards your left fingertips and then reach both hands all the way up to the sky, head over heart over hips. Bring your hands out wide to a capital T. And then gaze over your left middle finger to the left. Flex your left toes up towards the sky. Dig the left heel into the ground. And then bend into the left knee and sit into the left, th left hip. Think supported warrior two. So left heel is perpendicular to the right thigh. Reach further forward, inhale. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Draw the right hand down. And reach the left hand up and overhead, creating length in the left side. One more big inhale. Exhale, supported side angle. Left arm comes on top of the left thigh. Reach the right hand towards the back of your space. Feel the right shoulder back, gaze up high. Or big inhale. Exhale, curl your hands to the top of the mat. Curl the left toes under and press away the top of the mat. Really spread through the fingertips. Left knee is lifted. Runner's lunge, step your right foot in between your palms. So hips are in line, left hand down, reach the right hand up to the sky, easy twist. Gaze up towards the right fingertips and then slowly lower the left knee and untuck the left toes. Breathe length into that left side, one more big inhale. Exhale, half splits, dig your right heel into the mat and send the hips back. We're here for a couple of breaths. You can point and flex your right toes, you can bend and straighten your right leg. Maybe play with reaching that right arm up towards the sky, like a little bit of a twist. Create length into that right side, drawing the right hip slightly back and the left hip bone slightly forward. When you're ready, slowly make your way back towards tabletop so the right knee will meet the left. Let's do the second side. Reach the left hand forward, kick the right heel back. Hips are squared down towards the mat. Inhale, create length. Exhale, left elbow, right knee, curl it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, left elbow out to the left, right knee out to the right. Inhale, create length. Exhale, left elbow, right knee. Two more, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, left elbow out to the left, right knee out to the right. Inhale, reach forward. Left elbow, right knee. Last time, inhale, create length. Exhale, left elbow out to the left. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, knee into the chest and kick your right foot off to the left side of the mat. So you're getting an IT band stretch in the right leg. Right foot's cooking out to the left side of the mat. One more big inhale. Exhale, step the right foot all the way to the back of your mat. Pivot your left toes to the left so the left shin comes parallel to the front of the mat. Supported side plank, pivot the right heel down and send the right hand high. Gaze up towards the right fingertips, up towards the sky. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, rise all the way up, head over heart over hips. Reach those hands up high. Exhale, bring your hands out to a capital T, arms are parallel to the earth. And then flex your right toes up towards the sky. Gaze over your right middle finger. Pretend that you're surfing into a warrior two. So bend into the right knee. 
stacking it over the right ankle, sitting forward down to that right hip. Inhale, reach further forward. Exhale, reverse the hand up and back. Modified reversed for your two. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, supported side angle. Right forearm comes on top of the right thigh. Reach the left hand up and overhead, creating length in that left side. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, curl the hands top of the mat. Straighten the right leg, curl the right toes under. Press away the earth, runner's lunge. Step your left foot in between your palms, top of the mat. Right hand stays down, inhale, left hand high. Gaze up towards the left fingertips as you're squeezing the glutes together. And slowly lower the right knee and on top of the right toes. Feel the length on the top of the right thigh. Sit back in the hips, half splits. Dig the left heel into the ground and send the hips back. Few breaths here. So it's going to feel different from one side to the other. You can bend and straighten that left leg. Maybe point flex the left toes a few times. Slowly make your way back towards tabletop. Tuck the toes and send the hips up high, down, down. Give yourself a few breaths. You can pedal it out, dance it out if you'd like. Maybe shake your head yes and no. Or you've got a playful puppy today, that's cool too. Then come to your alignment. Middle fingers facing forward. Wrapping your armpits towards your face as you press your heart back towards your thighs. Inhale, look to the top of the mat. Exhale, step, walk, jump to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, reach the heart forward, reach the hips back. Exhale, forward fold. Big bend into your knees as you slowly roll up the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Reach your hands all the way up to the sky. Exhale, fold right back on down, and hinge at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift, create number seven shape with your body. Exhale, hands come down to the mat, step back, high plank and hold, shoulders over wrists, heels over toes. Press away the earth. Slight tuck of the tailbone as you draw your belly button towards your spine. You can lower your knees at any time. Shift further on your tippy toes, shoulders past the wrists. Exhale, bend your elbows towards your hips, lower your belly all the way down to the ground. Squeeze your elbows back towards your hips. Inhale, lift your heart, tuck your chin to your chest, baby cobra. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, child's pose. Sit your hips back towards your heels. Knees to come out wide or in towards your chest as you melt your third eye down to the mat. Know this pose is always accessible to you, even though I might not call for it when you need it most. This is your practice. Your time. Do what feels right and good in your body as I'm just here to guide you. Shift forward, tabletop. Tuck the toes, send the hips up high, down dog. Inhale, look to the top of the mat. Exhale, step walk, jump. Top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach and rise, hands up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands come down to the mat, step back, high plank. Pause here. Really press away the earth. Wrap the insides of the elbows to face the front of the space. Shift further on your tippy toes, inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows by your hips, hold here. Hover your heart right off the mat. Untuck your toes, peel your heart through your arms, draw your shoulder blades down your back. Up dog, cobra, gaze up high. Tuck your toes, send your hips up high to the sky. Down, down. Even breaths in, and even breaths out. Inhale, sweep your right heel high, three-legged dog. Come to your left and angle the right toes down. Exhale, knee and nose, step your right foot through your palms. Easy twist, send the right hand up to the sky. Lower the left knee and untuck the left toes. Reverse your warrior, reach the right hand back, left hand forward. Exalt your warrior, draw the right hand down the left thigh and reach the left hand up and overhead. 
Pause here, keep on sitting forward down to the hips as you gaze up high, one more big inhale. Exhale, hook the left elbow outside the right thigh, prayer twist. Hands come to prayer, use your left elbow to bring your heart closer to your thumbs as you gaze up towards the sky. Tuck the left toes under, left knee lifts off the mat, squeeze the inner thighs. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, warrior two, open up your wings to the left. Pivot your left heel down towards the ground. Right knee is stacked over right ankle, let the shoulder blades melt down your back. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, covered hands, top of the mat, step back, high plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, arc up. Exhale, down dog. Second side, inhale, left heel high, three-legged dog. Keep on pressing your heart back towards your right thigh. Turn on your left glute and reach that left heel higher to the sky. Inhale, exhale, step your left leg through your palms. Easy twist, inhale, that left hand high. So press actively down towards your left toe mount. And slowly lower the right knee and untuck the right toes down towards the ground. Reverse your warrior, reach that left hand back, right hand forward, gaze past your left thumb at the back of the mat. Slow and control, draw your left hand towards your right leg or right hip as you reach the right hand up and overhead for the exalted warrior. Stay here for a nice big inhale. Exhale, prayer twist. Hook the right elbow outside the left thigh. Left hand comes on top of the right. And then twist through the core to kill the left shoulder further back as you gaze over your left shoulder up towards the sky. Really turn on your glutes, tuck the right toes, lift the right hip in line with the left by lifting the right knee off of the mat. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, warrior two, open up to the right. Take a moment to settle in, widen your stance as much as you can. Create a 90 degree angle with that left leg. Draw the tailbone down. Really active through the fingertips. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, curl your hands down. Step back, high to low. You flow, you grow. Meet me in down dog. The journey is your own. Inhale, look to the top of the mat. Exhale, step, walk, fly in front of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach and rise, hands up to the sky. Exhale, fold right back on down. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands come down to the mat, step back, jump back. Make your way back to down dog. There's no need to do chaturangas every time, but you choose what feels good to you. Let's take that same flow one more time on each side, moving closer to one breath, one movement. Inhale, right heel high. Exhale, step the right foot through. Inhale, easy twist, right hand high. Exhale, lower the left knee and untuck the left toes. Inhale, reverse your warrior, right hand comes down. Inhale, that left hand up and back. Exhale, prayer twist with the left elbow outside the right thigh. Stay here for one big inhale. Exhale, curl the left toes under, lift the left knee in line with the right. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, warrior two, open up, and up, settle in. Inhale here. Exhale, curl the hands down to the mat. One exhale, high to low. Knee me in, down dunk. Second side. Inhale, left heel high. Exhale, step the left foot through. Inhale, easy twist, left hand up to the sky. Exhale, lower the right knee and untuck the right toes. Inhale, reverse and exalt your warrior, drawing the left hand down that left side. More big inhale. Exhale, prayer twist with the right elbow outside the left thigh. Curl the right toes under, right knee lifts off the mat, squeeze the inner thigh, stay here for an inhale. Exhale, warrior two, open up to the right. Stay here for a nice inhale. Exhale, curl your hands down to the ground, round the exhale, high to low. Inhale, look to the top of the mat. Exhale, step walk, fly from the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bring your feet as wide as the mat. 
Take really big bends into your knees. Let your head and your upper body just hang heavy in your rag doll. You can grab opposite elbows or sway side to side. Even shake your head yes and no a few times. Any stickiness out of the neck, any negative thoughts or expectations you have for yourself or your practice. So release any binds, inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach and rise, hands all the way up to the sky. Exhale, fold right back on down. Inhale, halfway lift. Journey high to low, you can step back, pro back. Do what feels good to you as you make your way back to down dog. As we build onto our flow, Keep moving with those even breaths in and even breaths out. Inhale, right heel high. This time, bend the right knee, stack the right hip over the left, and draw your right knee in circles down to the ground and up to the sky. In one direction and the other way as well. Slowly come to stillness and draw your right knee to your left elbow. Pause here, shoulders over wrist. Keep your core engaged. Draw your right knee to your left wrist. Draw the right knee all the way up into the left armpit. Right knee towards the left wrist. Two more times. Right knee high into the left armpit. Right knee to the left wrist. Last time, right knee high into the left armpit. Fall and triangle. Kick your right foot off to the left. Seek your left hand up to the sky. Gaze up. Lift your hips. Big inhale. Exhale, left hand down, side plank. Stack the right hip over the left, shift the weight into the left side body. So you can always modify and bring that left knee down, but we're stacking the right hip over the left, right shoulder over the left. Can you gaze up towards your right fingertips? Maybe float that right foot off the left. One more big inhale. Exhale, step your right foot, top of the mat. Easy twist, left hands down, inhale the right hand high. Lower the left knee and untuck the left toes. Exalt and reverse your warrior. Right hand down the left side, reach that left hand up and overhead. Exhale, prayer twist. Hook the left elbow outside the right thigh. Curl the left toes under, lift the left knee off the mat. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, warrior two, open up to the left. Take a moment to settle in. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse your warrior up and back. Keep the bend into the right knee as you create length in the right side. One more big inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Right hand can come down to a block or your right forearm on top of your right back as you reach the left hand up and overhead. Feel the left shoulder back like you're leaning on an imaginary wall behind you. Stay here for another big inhale. Exhale, make your way back up to warrior two. Interlace your fingertips behind your skull. Draw your elbows out wide. So still in warrior two legs, and then we're gonna shift the weight into the left leg, creating a little bit of a lunge in the left knee. And then shift the weight into the right foot, top of the mat, cross body twist, right elbow to the left knee. So in control, step the left foot back where it was, lunge into the left knee. Shift the weight to the right foot, top of the mat, cross body twist, right elbow to the left. One more time. Lunge into the left leg, come to the top of the mat, twist, right elbow to the left knee, crunch it in. Cross the left thigh over the right, think eagle wrap legs. Nice. Squeeze the inner thighs. Interlace your fingertips behind your low back. Inhale, heart is lifted. Exhale, hinge the hips. Let the interlaced fingertips come up and over. Breathe. Find the stability of that right foot as you let the head hang heavy. Ground down to the right foot. Slow and controlled, step your left foot to the back of the mat for high crescent legs. See if you can go no hands. If you need your hands, that's cool too. Nice, reach your hands up high to the sky, high crescent lunge. Take a moment to settle in. Left heels over, left toes, right knee is right over the right ankle. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, hands come down to the mat, standing split. Shift the weight into the right foot. Inhale, that left heel high to the sky. 
Relax the head and neck. Hips are square down to the ground as you use your left glute to bring that left heel higher to the sky. One more big inhale. Exhale, forward fold, top of the mat, left foot meets the right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach and rise, hands up to the sky. Exhale, fold right back on down. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands come down to the mat, step back, jump back, make your way back to down dog. Even breaths in, even breaths out. Inhale, left heel high. Bend the left knee, stack the left hip over the right. Draw the left knee in circles down to the ground and up to the sky. In one direction and the other way as well. Slowly come to stillness and draw your left knee to your right elbow underneath you. Shifting the shoulders over the wrist. Draw your left knee towards your right wrist. Left knee high into the right armpit. Left knee, right wrist. Two more times. Left knee high into the right armpit. Left knee, right wrist. Left knee, right armpit. Left knee, right wrist. Left knee high into the right armpit. Hold. Fall and triangle. Kick your left foot off to the right. Pivot the right heel down and send the right hand high. Lift your heart, lift your gaze. One more big inhale. Exhale, side plank, right hand plants down. Shift the weight into the right side body as you stack the left hip over the right. Maybe you float that left foot off the right. Can you reach that left hand high as you lift your gaze towards your left thumb up high? More big inhale. Exhale, step to the top of the mat. Easy twist, left hands up towards the sky. Lower the right knee, untuck the right toes. Exalt your warrior, left hand reaches up and back towards that right thigh, reach the right hand up and overhead. Big inhale, exhale, prayer twist. Hook the right elbow outside the left thigh. Curl the right toes under, lift the right hip in line with the left. Squeeze the inner thighs. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, warrior two, open up to the right. Take a moment to settle in. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse it up and back. Create length in that left side. One more big inhale. Exhale, extended side angle, left hand on top of a block or the mat as you reach the right hand up and overhead. Creating a 45 degree angle in that right side to really feel the reach from your right heel all the way to your right fingertips. Or big inhale. Exhale, warrior two, come back on up. So your shoulders are over your hips. Interlace your fingertips behind your skull, elbows out wide. Shift the weight into the right foot at the back of the mat, slight bend into the right knee. Then shift the weight to the left foot, cross body crunch. Draw the left elbow to the right knee at the top of the mat. Woo! Step it all the way back. Bend into the right knee. Shift into the left foot, left elbow, right knee. Crunch it in. One more time. Shift the weight to the right foot, back of the mat. Shift the weight to the left foot, left elbow, right knee. Curl it in. Hook the right thigh over the left. Eagle wrap legs. Squeezing the inner thighs together. And then interlace the fingertips behind your low back. Draw the knuckles down, open up the heart. Exhale, hinge the hips. Let the head hang heavy. Keep on squeezing the inner thighs. Ground down to that left foot, slow and controlled. Unravel the right leg and step the right foot all the way back. High crescent lunge, shake your hands up high to the sky. Square off your hips towards the front of your space. Let the shoulder blades melt down your back as you gaze up high. Or big inhale. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Stand and split, reach that right heel high. Breathe. Draw the belly button up and in as you shift your gaze towards your right toes. Can you reach those right heels a little bit higher? Or big inhale. Exhale, forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, reach and rise, hands up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands come down to the mat, step back, make your way back towards child's pose or get some water and towel off. Whew. How's everyone doing? <laughs> awesome, okay. So I thought that we could take a moment to go towards EPK1, uh, Ekapod and Punyasana 1 is when we fly, drawing our right thigh over our left tricep, going in opposite directions, or the left thigh over the right tricep when we bend our elbows. Um, I'm going to demo that for you. And if you want to play with it, we're going to have a couple of times where you can play with it on each side. Cool? So EBK1, I'm going to demo coming from three-legged dog. And as you draw the right knee to the left elbow, you can play with drawing the right knee high into the left armpit, or you can play with bending the elbows a little bit. And then you're trying to cross the right thigh over the left tricep, so you can use the left tricep as a shove. Seeing if you can pick the left toes up and drawing the weight of the right thigh into the left tricep. Cool? Okay. So we're gonna try that. Same flow again. I'm gonna add a little bit in and take a little bit out. Cool? Let's go. Down dog. <laughs> you got it. Come on. Woo! Inhale, right heel high to the sky, three legged like dog. Bend the right knee, stack the right hip over the left. Option to stay here this time or flip your dog, stepping the right foot all the way behind you, opening up your heart to the sky. Stay here for a nice big inhale. Exhale, right hand down, draw the right knee towards the left tricep. Option to hold the right knee into the left tricep or play with that EPK one, bending the elbows. Taking that left heel off the mat. You know, it goes straight to that ball on triangle, kicking the right foot off the left. We're pausing here in our ball on triangle, reaching that left hand high. Exhale, side plank, shift the weight into the left palm, stack the right hip over the left. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, step your right foot top of the mat, easy twist. Slowly lower the left knee and on top the left toes. Reverse your exalted warrior, right hand down the left thigh. Reach the left hand back. Prayer twist, hook the left elbow outside the right thigh, hands come to prayer. Curl the left toes under, left knee lifts, squeeze the inner thighs together. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse it, open back. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, extended side angle, reach the left hand towards the front of your space. Come all the way up, interlacing the fingertips behind your skull, bend into the left knee, straighten the right leg. Twist one time, shifting the weight into the right foot, right elbow, left knee, top of the mat. You can stay here, or you can come to Dancing Shiva, drawing your right hand outside the left thigh, or the outside edge of your left foot, taking the left heel forward and reaching the left hand back. Or big inhale. Exhale, step left and all the way back. High crescent lunge, sweep the hands up high to the sky. Oh, take a moment to settle in. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, revolved half moon, left hand comes down to the mat or a block, kick the left heel back. So left hand down, try to stack the right shoulder over the left while your hips are squared down towards the mat. Keep on actively kicking the left heel back. See if you can reach that right hand higher the sky and gaze on them. One more big inhale. Exhale, forward fold, top of the mat. Nice, guys. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach and rise, hands all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands come down to the mat. You can step back just like me. Look, I'm going to down dog. Or if you like to do your own thing, that's cool too. <laughs> Next. Breathe. Inhale, left heel high. Bend the left knee. Stack the left hip over the right or flip it up. Step that left foot behind you and open up your heart to the sky. Stay here for a nice big inhale. 
Exhale, left hand down to the ground. Left knee comes towards the right tricep, all the way up into that right armpit. Now you can stay here. You can bend the elbow slightly, trying to hook the left thigh on top of the right tricep. Option to pick that right foot off the mat. You know, it's just me, it's in fallen triangle, kicking your left foot off to the right and sweeping your right hand up to the sky. Stay here for a nice big inhale. Exhale, right hand down, side plank. Shift the lane to the right palm, stack the left hip over the right. Gaze up high, big inhale. Exhale, step the left foot top of the mat, easy twist. Lower the right knee, untuck the right toes. Reverse your warrior, left hand down the right thigh, reach the right hand up and back, big inhale. Exhale, prayer twist, hook the right elbow outside the left thigh. Curl the right toes under, lift the right knee off the mat. Squeeze the inner thighs, inhale. Exhale, warrior two, open up to the right. Settle in, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse it up and back. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Left arm, forearm down, right hand up and overhead. Stay here for a nice big inhale. Exhale, bend into the right knee and interlace your fingertips behind your skull and elbows out wide. Nice. Shift the gaze forward, weight forward into the left foot, left elbow, right knee, top of the mat, cross body crunch. Option to stay there. Or dancing Shiva, left hand outside the right thigh or outside the edge of your right pinky toe. And then reaching the right hand back. Our big inhale. Exhale, slowly step the right foot to the back of the mat. High press of lunge. Inhale, hands up high, gaze up high. Exhale, revolve, crescent moon, right hand down. Kick that right heel back. Your left hand can be on your left hip. Try to play with peeling left shoulder back so you can reach that left hand up to the sky, stacking the left shoulder over the right. Can you lift that right heel a little bit higher? One more big inhale. Exhale, forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach and rise, hands up to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands to prayer. Draw your thumbs through third eye, your lips down to your heart center. Let your hands rest by your sides and shut down your eyes. Even though the beat might be moving faster and we might be moving faster, doesn't mean you can't slow everything down on your own. Come back to that meditative space you created and slow everything down. Inhale, sweep the hands up high to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands come down to the mat, step back, jump back, make your way high to low, down dog. Okay, guys, we're gonna take that one more time on each side. Yes, we are, yes, we can. You can stop at any time. <laughs> you know, it's nice to get moving and grooving just for a little bit. So we're gonna move a little bit faster this time. You can choose to take out whatever you like. Everyone, inhale, right heel high. Bend the right knee, stack the right hip over the left, or flip your dog, opening up your heart to the sky. Stay in here for an inhale. Exhale, right hand down. Right knee towards the left tricep. You can EPK one or fall in triangle, reaching your left hand up high. Remember, bend those elbows, try to create a shelf. Side plank, left hand down, right hand up to the sky. One more big inhale. Exhale, step the right foot top of the mat. Easy twist, right hand high. Lower the left knee, untuck the left toes. Reverse your exalted warrior, right hand down the left side. Inhale, left hand reaches back. Exhale, prayer twist, hook the left elbow outside the right thigh. Curl the left toes under, lift the left knee off the mat. Big inhale. Exhale, warrior two, open up to the right. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse it up and back. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, extend side angle, reach the left hand up and overhead, inhale. Exhale, lunge back in the mat, interlace the fingertips behind your skull. Ground down to the right foot, cross body twist, right elbow to the left knee. Dancing Shiva, reach the left hand back.
Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, step the left foot back to the mat. High crescent lunge. Inhale, hands up high. Exhale, revolve to half moon. Left hand down. Kick that left heel actively back. Big inhale. Exhale, forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach and rise, hands up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Journey high to low. You've got it. We've only got one more side. It's already in your body. Don't think about it as we just do one more side. Inhale, left heel high. Bend the left knee. It's that the left tip over the right or flip your dog. Take a moment to open up your heart. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, left hand down. Cross body, left knee to right elbow or fallen triangle, EPK one, if you decide to work on that. Stay here for another inhale. Exhale, right hand down, side plank. Shift the left hip over the right. Stay here for a nice big inhale. Exhale, step the left foot top of the mat, easy twist, left hand high. Exhale, lower the right knee and untuck the right toes. Exalt your warrior, left hand down, down the right side. Inhale, right hand reaches back. Exhale, prayer twist with the right elbow outside, the left one. Curl the right toes under. Lift the right knee off the mat. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, warrior two, open up to the right. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, reverse it up and back. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reach the right hand towards the front of the space. Exhale, bend into the right knee, lunge at the back of the mat, interlace the fingertips behind your skull. Cross body twist. Left foot down, left elbow to the right knee, top of the mat. Dancing Shiva, reach the right hand back. Stay for another inhale. Exhale, step the right foot all the way back. High crescent lunge. Inhale, hands rise. Exhale, right hand down. Kick the right heel back. Raval tap in. One more big inhale. Forward fold, top of the mat. Woo! How's everyone feeling? You did great. It's time to slow down. <laughs> Oh, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bring your feet out as wide as the mat. And hook your peace fingers around your big toes. Draw your elbows out to the left and right, and then reach your hips up high to the sky like you're farting on someone behind you. And try to reach your heart closer toward your thigh. It's like you're using the strength of your big toes to pull your heart in between your thighs. Keep your fingers hooked on your big toes. Inhale, halfway lift. Keep on reaching the hips back and the heart forward. And exhale, deep in your fold. Hands come down to the mat. Keep the right foot down. Step the left foot all the way back. So far back that your left knee comes down to the mat. Lizard lunge. Lower the left knee and untuck the left toes. Forms come down to the ground or blocks. And keep on sending your left hip bone down towards the mat. Try to walk your elbows away from your hips and reach your heart forward and wiggle your left toes as far back as you can. You have the option to walk your right arm underneath your right leg or take the variation that speaks to you at this time. And maybe that's funky monkey, maybe coming onto the pinky toe side of your right foot. Give yourself a few breaths, settle in. Start to plant your hands and back down on the mat, straightening your arms. Take your time. And then dig your right heel into the mat and send your hips back. Think Half splits, but they're funky because both your hands are to the left of your right leg. 
And then I want you to sit so far back in the hips that your left knee shines out to the left and your butt plops down on the ground. So it's called a jazz flip. Your left knee is out to the left. See if anyone can see me this way. I don't know if it's any better. The lighting's a little bit weird at this time. I'll have to be conscientious next time. Okay. So jazz split, heart is open towards your right thigh, towards your right toes. And then when you're ready, hinge at the hips, let yourself fold over your right leg. So left knee out to the left. If this is too funky in your left knee cap, just be conscientious of what speaks to you. I know for me, this is really funky in my left hip flexor and that's why I like doing it. So, okay, a couple more breaths. With each breath of an inhale, you find more length in the spine and each exhale, let yourself soften just a little bit more. Slowly roll up the spine one vertebrae at a time. And then kick your left foot to meet the right. Dandasana, staff pose, reach your hands up high to the sky. Stay here for a nice big inhale. And exhale, hinge the hips and forward fold. You get a gentle bend to your knees. You've had so much of a bend to your knees that your heart can just rest on top of your thigh. Just breathe into your low back. One more big inhale and open mouth exhale. Slowly roll up the spine one vertebrae at a time. Draw your knees into your chest and you want to rock up and down in your back, forward and back. So you can just come up to a forward fold like we were before. So you can use your hands to help you or gain so much momentum. You come to a forward fold at the top of the mat. Feet are as wide as the mat. This time the left foot stays down and shoot the right foot all the way back for your lizard lunge. So your left foot's to the left of your hands. When you're ready, your forearms come down to the ground. Try to wiggle the right toes as far back as you can. Try to press the right hip bone down and walk your elbows away from your body. If you're crawling off the top of your mat. You have the option to stay here or find a variation that speaks to you. Maybe play with walking the left leg over your left shoulder so you can get deep into that inner left thigh. Slowly take your time to walk your hands back underneath you. So you can press away the mat, straighten your arms, bend into the right knee, funky half splits. Take the left heel into the ground and send your hips back. And then draw the right knee out to the right and sit your hips all the way down to the ground for jab splits. So straight left leg, right knee out, out to the right. Like your right heel's kicking towards your right butt cheek. And then inhale, create length, reaching the heart towards the left toes, and exhale, let yourself fold over that left leg. Slowly roll up the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Reach your right foot forward to meet the left. 
And then you'll bring your knees into your chest and make your way onto your back. Take your time for happy baby pose, drawing your knees out wide, dipping your hands to your inner thighs, and drawing your hands towards the outside edges of your feet. You can stay here, pressing your low back and hips down on the mat. Shins can be perpendicular down to the ground, or maybe play with straightening one leg and the other. It's our last posture before we make our way all the way down to the mat. So do any last poses that speak to you at this time while your body is heated. When you're ready in your own time, you can make your way to your final resting pose, extending your feet forward, letting your arms rest by your sides. Slowly turn your attention away from the physical practice. Make your way back towards the subtle breath. Take a soft breath in, and open mouth, let it go. Take a bigger inhale now, really filling up with breath all the way up into the collarbones. Sip in a little bit more air. Open mouth, let something go. Soft sensations into the fingers, toes, muscles. Take your time, reach your hands towards the back of the mat and extend your feet forward, creating one long line of energy. Inhale, fill up with breath for one last stretch. Exhale, draw your knees into your chest, giving yourself a hug as you thank yourself for self-love and self-care. And slowly make your way up to the right side of your body in the fetal position using your right bicep as a pillow. Cradling your head and your heart. Come back to the meditative space that you created at the beginning of class. Think of that thing that makes you smile inside so you can carry it with you off of the mat. Even when things in life seem to be spinning out of control, you can bring your mind's eye back here. Leave your impurities, insecurities behind as you use your hands on whatever you need to slowly rise on up to a seat. I'm gonna take everyone off of mute. Right. Not muting anyone. Okay. Palms face upward on top of your thighs as you're receptive to all the energy that you have manifested here today. Take a moment to breathe it in. And open mouth, let it go. Huh. Sweep your hands out wide and high, collecting all the positivity you create as they touch overhead. And steer your thumbs through third eye, Ajna, the seat of wisdom. Through your lips, Vasuda, may they always speak peace. And through heart center, Anahata, may the love and light within you always be unstruck. It's the same love and light that resonates and reflects within me. Namaste. I think I muted everyone again. Let's see. Did it work? Did it work? 
Hey guys, thank you so much for joining in. Yeah. I don't know if I can unmute you. Or... Thanks, okay. Jacqueline. Thanks, thank Jacqueline. you so much for joining in. It's so nice to feel connected in this way. I can see all of you. Oh my God, I want to FaceTime all of you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you, you so much for nice. joining. And thank you so much. It was so nice thank to see you. all of your faces. Oh, thank you. Healthy. Reach out to me at any time if you want to talk about anything. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you so much. Have a good day so night. Much. Have a good day night. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you, Steph. Thank you. <laughs> You're the last one. <laughs> Okay. How do I end the meeting? More chat.